What makes Psychonauts unique? Tim Schafer, known for his help on titles like Grim Fandango and the Monkey Island series, is a man of cult fame in the gaming industry. With his fascinating take to video games, he garnered small fame as a developer and thusly started his own company, Double Fine Productions. Their debut title was Psychonauts, released for the PC, original Xbox, and PlayStation 2 in 2005. Although it horrifically underperformed back at release, fans slowly spread the good word of the game's new take on platformers. Psychonauts became a cult classic that fan outcry alone brought from obscurity. Its following has become so notable that just recently at the 2015 Game Awards, Schaefer announced that Psychonauts 2 was finally in production. What makes Psychonauts unique is how it put more emphasis on its world and story and uses it to actually enhance the simplistic gameplay. Let's begin. There's no question that Psychonauts should be described as a platformer, but oddly, the platforming elements of the game are actually straightforward. It has all the basics, a double jump, trapeze swings, and tons of obstacles to dodge. Rasputin, the player character, unlocks new skills throughout the journey, and players need to use all these skills to beat the levels throughout the game. It's par for the course in terms of platforming games, with tons of collectibles that are used to unlock new items and abilities. The feeling itself seems reminiscent of games like Banjo-Kazooie and Crash Bandicoot, but unlike those games, there's actually a lot more attention to combat, with l target and multiple moves for taking out enemies. These moves and collectibles also have use for finding alternate routes and more collectibles. With these aspects, Psychonauts isn't just a platformer, it's actually more of an adventure game. The levels aren't always simple point A to point B. There's actually a lot of backtracking and exploring needed to progress the game. It would normally be an off-putting feature, but Psychonauts brings together its unorthodox take to the genre with a beautifully designed world with a great story and presentation to match. Mario takes place in the Mushroom Kingdom, Banjo-Kazooie takes place in Spiral Mountain, but Psychonauts takes place in a summer camp for kids with psychic powers. Rather than entering paintings or clearly marked doors, levels are placed inside the minds of the camp counselors. These levels reflect the character's personality and create charming opportunities for character development. It's been a big praise for the game, a world that seems ripped out of a Tim Burton movie. All the nonsensical world designs and unusual characters make for a very distinct looking game. In fact, the collectible locations seem natural and promote exploration rather than needing a certain ability. The presentation begins to take players out of the gaming mindset and focuses on captivating players with the world around them. This has been done before in many genres, but never in the action-packed platformer. Between the discussions of fitting in, handling mental stability, and self-actualization, Psychonauts captures a deep and original narrative. It's able to consume players into the story, making for very enthralling dialogue, to which is exceptionally well done. It mixes together quirky humor, and yet has an emotional and profound plot. What they don't expect is Raz, the Psychonaut. And, and, and then you'll make their heads explode? No. Do you do that? No. Well, once kinda. For a platformer, Psychonauts is nothing new. Its rudimentary levels and abilities fit all the tropes of the genre, but that actually lowers the barrier to entry. It feels nostalgic without feeling like any other platformer at the same time. It doesn't push for difficult platform sections and instead gives players the freedom to explore its mesmerizing world. With beautifully written story and characters and a world and presentation that flows seamlessly, Psychonauts is a platformer that barely feels like one. It's easy to get lost in the scenery and explore rather than progressing the story, but when players do progress, it's easy to follow and very relatable. A game that came out way too early for the gaming masses to understand, it's a platformer adventure game that uses the world and story to entice players, rather than the gameplay. And that is what makes Psychonauts unique. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, and if you'd like to see more videos that discuss what makes any video game stand out, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.